What's up everyone? Welcome back here to the Megan Moose channel. Thank you so much for tuning in to another video. I'm super excited about this video today, guys, because this is for all of my video making and blogging friends. I'm going to be talking today about a new platform that I have recently been posting a lot of my videos to, and I have been super thrilled with my experience so far, and I want to share some details about it because I want you to be able to start taking advantage of it for yourself. So let's go ahead and get right on into it. So in this video specifically, I'm going to be talking to you all about the news Newsbreak platform and the Newsbreak Creator Program. About two months ago, Newsbreak had reached out to me and asked me to become a member of their Creator Program. So I decided, like any other platform, I would give it a try and test it out for myself. And so far, I have been very happy with the results that I've been able to see. So if you haven't ever heard of Newsbreak before, Newsbreak is an app that is specifically focused on local content and local videos and journal articles. And the Newsbreak app is a perfect platform to go to if you're looking for any type of local content or local news specific to a certain area. So for instance, content that does really well on Newsbreak, of course, is any type of news content, but I've also found that a lot of travel content does really well on Newsbreak and travel content that talks about exploring a new area trying new things and highlighting features of the area that people might not necessarily know about. So for example, the content that I like to post to Newsbreak is very similar to the content that I post here on YouTube. If you haven't been on my channel here before, my name is Megan, of course, and I love posting any type of travel content, DIY content, and of course, theme park vlogs. I live local to the Orlando area, so I love getting to go over and visit the local Orlando theme parks. I am a Disney World and a Universal Annual Pass holder. So I love getting to video my times at the parks and share them. My vlogging journey started in the beginning of 2020 and it quickly turned into a new hobby of mine. I loved getting to document new experiences that I was going through. And I also found that as I was posting them onto platforms such as YouTube, I found that they were super helpful videos for others to be able to look at, especially if there were people that were coming to visit Disney World. I love sharing my tips and tricks videos, but also sharing details about the parks and how people can plan for their Disney vacations. I of course was doing a lot of trips to Disney World and I loved vlogging my experiences, but I also started to explore other parts of Florida that I had never been to before. I would go on kayaking trips to the Springs or going down to the Florida Keys to visit. And I loved creating videos and sharing them with others to highlight some of the hidden details that people might not know about Florida. As I started to create videos specifically to the Orlando and Florida area, I started to realize that whenever I was going to travel somewhere, I like to look up videos to see what are some features or some highlights that I needed to see whenever I was in the area. And it really started to make me realize how important local videos are. Sometimes I think local videos can get overshadowed if they are specific to an area that doesn't necessarily get a lot of recognition. However, with the promotion of local videos, I think that more new hidden gems and places to visit and explore can start to be revealed for new areas. I know for myself personally, as I started posting videos to YouTube, I started meeting a lot of new video friends that shared a common interest of Disney. And while these people didn't necessarily live near the parks, they shared a lot of Disney content whenever they would make their Disney trips. But after that, they would share a lot of content about the area that they lived in. And it was always really neat to keep up with them and see what they had going on in their day-to-day -day lives and especially in the area that they live in. So with the promotion of local videos, as I said before, I think a lot of new places to visit and hidden gems that aren't necessarily known about can start to be visited and seen in more detail. And I think that now that is where the Newsbreak app can come in and really start to make a difference with that. So that's where I want to start and get into more details about Newsbreak now. So as I mentioned, Newsbreak reached out to me in May and asked me to become a member of their creator program. And I was a bit skeptical at first, not to lie, but I wanted to give the platform a chance and see what it was like and see if it was a good fit for me. So I decided to try out the program. I posted a couple of videos to the platform and I was absolutely blown away with the amount of exposure and views that my video had gotten in just a day. So not only can you post videos to Newsbreak, but you can also post journal articles. But in detail, I'm going to be talking more about the video side of Newsbreak here. So for the creator program, Newsbreak agrees to pay a base salary 
for each video for the first three months that you are in the program. And then after the first three months, you start getting paid for your videos based on the views that your videos receive. As I had mentioned, I have loved getting to add Newsbreak to the list of platforms that I have been able to post content to. And I wanted to highlight a couple of pros that this platform has compared to other platforms such as YouTube. So as you probably know, YouTube is my primary platform where I like to post a majority of my videos, but I have been absolutely blown away with the amount of exposure and views that my videos have been able to get on Newsbreak in the short two months that I have been posting on the platform. I'll show a screenshot here of the number of views that my page has been able to gain and the number of followers that I have gained in the short amount of time that I have been posting on Newsbreak. And it's crazy to see because I have already surpassed the number of subscribers and views that I have even gotten on my channel in over a year that I have been on YouTube. So I think there's great potential for using Newsbreak as a new platform for yourself, especially if you are a small creator and it's really hard to get a lot of recognition on YouTube, especially when you're first starting out. So I think that Newsbreak is a great way to start posting videos and start gaining a following for yourself. Some of the videos that I've been able to make that have done particularly well on the platform are my Key West fishing vlogs, my craft show vlog that I participated in last fall, and a kayaking video that I had up in Northern Florida. And all of these videos have done well because they were very specific and local to a specific area in Florida. One of my Key West videos actually got chosen to be one of the trending videos for the week, which I thought was very neat and I was very excited about. So as I mentioned, there's great exposure potential for Newsbreak and I highly recommend hopping on the platform if you are looking for more exposure on your videos or journal articles. The other thing that I really like about Newsbreak is that they are willing to monetize your videos and journal articles immediately. Now for me personally, it's always been a goal to become monetized on YouTube. It's just a goal that I've set for myself since starting my YouTube channel. But with that comes a lot of work and a lot of time that goes into it. You have to have your 1,000 subscribers and your 4,000 watch hours. But with Newsbreak and becoming a part of the Newsbreak Creator program, Newsbreak agrees to monetize your videos immediately. And this was something that I was super blown away by as well. As soon as I had posted a video, I checked my earnings tab and a couple of days later, I saw that my videos were already starting to make money. And before I talk any more on this topic, I want to make it clear that it's not all about the money for me. I love the joy that I have getting to make videos and I love the joy that I'm able to bring other people whenever it comes to videos. But I know that I want to continue growing my channel. And one time I read somewhere that sometimes you need money for your mission. And I know that as I want to continue growing my channel, I want to be able to travel more places, to be able to create more videos, to share with everyone. And so with the money that I make off of Newsbreak, I'm really excited to be able to potentially upgrade the equipment that I have or be able to have money to go and travel to new places. So that way I can vlog my adventures and share with others. So I'm very excited about the opportunities that I'm going to be able to have through Newsbreak and I'm very thankful for them since I'm not yet monetized on YouTube currently. And so I'm very thankful for the creator program and that I'm able to be a part of it. With videos on Newsbreak specifically, Newsbreak agrees to pay $100 per video up to $2,000 for the first three months that you are in the program. So for three months, each month you can make up to $2,000, which I think is very competitive compared to other platforms and definitely something that you could take advantage of. Another thing that I love about Newsbreak is that they have a very personal creator support. Whenever I email them about any issues that I've had or any questions I've had about my account, I always get a super prompt email response and they've always been very personable in helping me in any issues that I might have had. I also have recently been able to participate in Zoom calls with them and that's something that I feel like I never would have been able to have with YouTube or any other platform, for example. So I've loved getting to know the creators behind the Newsbreak app and some of the staff that Newsbreak has. So I think that they are very personable and very easy to work with. So I love the exposure that Newsbreak's able to give, the monetization that they have, and also their very personable staff. But I just wanted to highlight a few cons that I have found with the program. And as we get into it, all of these cons that I'm gonna talk about are very minor. They are not a huge deal at all. It's just something that I have found since posting on the platform and comparing it to other platforms such as YouTube. But since the Newsbreak app is still relatively new, I know there's a lot of improvements that they can make. So I just wanted to highlight some here. Compared to YouTube, Newsbreak doesn't have that great of SEO tools available to you as a creator. 
a lot of times you're just able to post the video you have a thumbnail the title description and then post it to the specific area that the video is relative for so you can't necessarily fill out your tags or any other details like that but i think that's something that they definitely could improve on when uploading videos the platform also has a very limited upload capability they only allow videos that are four gigabytes i believe and so this has been a little bit challenging for me because some of my videos have been a lot higher than that so that's something that maybe in the future they could raise the limit that they have, but for right now it is just four gigabytes. And the last thing that I wanted to mention is that I have found that there are a lot more haters on the Newsbreak app compared to YouTube. I have found that a lot of the comments that I have gotten have not necessarily been as kind or as nice as I had hoped for. There are occasionally some nice comments and ones that bring me joy and I'm happy that I was able to help out with others, but I have found that there's a lot more haters on the platform than compared to YouTube or any other platform I've used. So I definitely try to take any comments that they have with a grain of salt, but that's something that I wanted to make you aware of in case you start posting to the Newsbreak app. I want you to be aware that some of the comments that you might get might not be what you expect. So all of these cons that I have are very minor. I still love posting to the Newsbreak platform and I plan on using it more in the future. And I think that all of these cons that I had are just little pieces of feedback that I have and I know that Newsbreak could make adjustments to in the future. So I hope you were able to find this video helpful and that it gave you a little bit more details into the Newsbreak platform and the Newsbreak creator program. I know that for me personally I have loved the exposure as I mentioned, the monetization, and just the very personable staff that they've had. I really love getting to know a lot of the creators and just see what potential the Newsbreak app has for my videos. And I was especially excited to share this because I know I have a ton of video making friends and I really would love for them to be able to take advantage of this new platform because there is a ton of exposure potential and also I think that the monetization and the way that you can start making money immediately by posting your videos that you might be already making is super beneficial and it can really start to increase your capabilities and it can really start to increase the opportunities that you have for making videos or even writing journal articles. So thanks so much for watching the video today. If you are interested in joining the Newsbreak Creator Program or just downloading the Newsbreak app to see what it is like for yourself, you can check out the links in the description below. I will link both of those links below so you can go and check it out for yourself. So thanks again so much for watching. If you have any other questions about the Newsbreak Creator Program, feel free to connect with me on Instagram at Megan Moves with two underscores at the end. I would love to talk to you about it and see what your thoughts are and answer any questions that you might have and feel free to add any questions in the comments below. So thanks again for watching guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and we will see you in the next Megan Moves video. See you guys. <laughs>